Well, hello there, Aquarius. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Aquarius for the week of August 17th. If this one doesn't resonate so much, Aquarius, go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You might want to do that anyway, since there could be messages there for you. We are looking at the overall energy here. I'm also going to pull cards for your person and then clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe since I post weekly. If you want your own private reading, you can find that down below. My least expensive is 20. If you want the extended, click the join button. It's $10. You get access to all of the extendeds for every single sign for an entire month. All right, so let's unpack this a little bit, Aquarius. We're looking at this overall energy. We have two conflict cards here, five of cups, five of pentacles. The fives tend to be about fights or arguments or inner or outer conflict. This five of pentacles in reverse is somebody coming in out of the cold. It's someone who misses you. You may miss this person. Um, there's a very close tie between you and this person if this is your reading. Um, the Five of Cups is regrets about the past. It's thinking about what I should have said or I shouldn't have said or if only I had done this or if only I hadn't done that. It's looking back at the past and wishing you could change things. It's good to learn from the past, but you can't live there. And speaking of the past, we've got the Six of Cups as well. Both of these cards are cards of the past. The Six of Cups is nostalgia, uh, being a bittersweet thinking about a time and place you can never go back to. You can see like the dog and the man and the boy and the puppy. You know, you'll never be that age again. You'll never be in that space again. So there's this sense of missing that or being nostalgic for this, this home they had with you. The Six of Cups can mean having a child with someone or knowing someone since you were a child. Um... The desire to have children with the person it's also something of a soul tie or a soul recognition card and i'm emphasizing the child thing because it showed up with the emperor that's major for aries um the emperor is the divine masculine the father the husband again he is like a father and a husband so you may have children with this person or the desire to marry this person and have children with this person but the emperor is the desire to fix something uh, to bring order to chaos. You can see he's got this chess piece. He's on a chess board. He's sitting on the planet Mars. This is someone who wants to kind of take control of a situation, bring that order back in. And I think it's because this person has missed you with that five of pentacles. They feel this loss. All right, let's take a closer look at this person. All right, so far we have the King of Cups here. This is the Lightseer's Tarot. I'm going to be using uh, the Radiant Wise Tarot over there to clarify in a second. Stay tuned to the end. I'm going to pull a card for how this person feels about you as well as something that they're thinking or that they need to say. This King of Cups is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. You could be dealing with a water sign or someone with water in their chart. You could have water in yours. I would also say that the King of Cups is someone getting in touch with their emotions, being emotionally available or emotionally vulnerable, maybe also using their intuition since cups cover intuition as well. All right. So what is going on with this person? All right, we've got the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is making long-term plans. It's looking ahead to the future. It's something of a long-distance relationship card here. You can see the little globe, the hippie van. They want to choose their own future here, and I think they're wanting a future with you. I think, I think they're hoping to fix this. Okay, we have the High Priestess, major for Pisces. This person could be a Pisces, especially given that King of Cups, or again, they're using their intuition here. 
Maybe they're listening to spirit. They could be dreaming about you or there could be this energetic connection between the two of you that this person is tuned into. Let me arrange these. It's also possible that you're tuned into this person as well. Um, basically because they can't stop thinking about you here. All right, what is going on? All right, we've got the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is a wish fulfillment card. It's a happily ever after. Again, children are showing up here, being married to someone or being committed. Again, for some of you, you could be married to this person or you wanna be married or you were engaged or somebody here was married and that could have been an issue. Oops, that's too many. So what is going on with this person? All right, well, that's kind of interesting. We have the Wheel of Fortune showing up here. We have the Four of Wands is showing up here. The Three of Wands. All right, four of wands is someone coming home. It's sometimes it's seen as like the wedding reception card. It can be like a homecoming um, where someone is returning. Uh, it can be the engagement party card. There's really a sense like the emperor is coming home here basically, or the king of cups is coming home. This person has missed you. That three of wands is being patient. It's waiting for your ships to come in. There is a long distance vibe with that card as well. And we've got the Wheel of Fortune, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo energy. The Wheel of Fortune is fate, it's destiny, good luck, good fortune. Um, this person was meant to be on your path here. This could be unfolding in divine timing. I think that there's some sort of a soul tie here or a deeper purpose to this connection. All right, let's clarify this. All right, we've got the death card, major for Scorpio, big changes. I think this person is looking to make changes in your relationship <laughs> via this, the two of cups. That is a wish fulfillment card. Excuse me, that's the 10 of cups. The two of cups is a, it's a partnership. It's meeting your person. It's someone being on the same page as you. You can see like they're offering those cups to one another. Their eyes are locked. They're in this together. And we've got the Six of Wands, which is a victory card. It's getting someone's attention, getting someone's affection. Um, yeah, I do get the sense that this person is coming back like to your hometown or they're moving closer to you or they want to move in with you. Some of you could have been living with this person or engaged or there's a, a wedding here that's a part of the issue. Maybe you you see this person at a wedding or that's how you first met. There's definitely a sense here of a big kind of turnaround in this connection. I think it's because this person has realized while you were apart that the two of you are meant to be together. All right, let's do a card for feelings as well as something that they're thinking here. So let's do a card for how this person is feeling about you. We've got the Knight of Cups. 
Knight of Cups is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Lots of water showing up here. So this is someone who is a water sign or water in their chart, or they're getting in touch with all of that watery energy here. Knight of Cups is very romantic, very charming. It's flirtation, it's courtship. I do think this is someone who's coming in and being very charming here, flirting with you, uh, hoping to get back in your good favor or win you back in some way that six of wands they're feeling very romantically inclined towards you basically with that knight of cups all right so what about something that they're thinking or that they need to say here all right we have i feel you even though we are apart and i do think they're with that high priestess card they're tuned into your energy they're dreaming about you, fantasizing about you, thinking about you. Maybe even trying to like manifest this. So many things remind me of you. I look for you everywhere. I want you. They are definitely thinking back to the way things used to be or the way things used to be between the two of you. Uh, very much in your energy there. Basically, this person is wanting you back. They're wanting to win you back here. It's up to you whether or not you entertain those notions. All right. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe since I post weekly. If you want your own private reading, you can find that down below. My least expensive is 20 click the join button if you would like to get the extended. Um, we're going to do feelings, intentions, the advice, and the unknown or what you don't see coming. All right. Blessed be.